Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, and this is Episode 31. Yeah, 31. I actually had to go check to make sure it was 31. I didn't check beforehand. Um, anyway, I, I have done a little bit of welding here. And, you know, this is going to look pretty cool. It comes down here. Now, I've kind of, like, mapped out where I want things to go down here. And I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's going to make some sense, you know, pretty soon. Let me show you how this is going to go uh, as best I can. First of all, these uh, unwelded thingy-mabobs, you know, before they get welded, man, they cause me a lot of lag. It is extremely laggy down here. Uh, but anyway, we're going to come over here. The door is going to be... I did a little bit of grinding, a uh, little bit of digging out of stone as well. Uh, the door is going to be somewhere over here, okay? And then you're going to come in the, the door, and I think the main door will be right here. And mm, maybe, maybe. I guess there's no there's no point for that. I, I kind of want to make a glass. Uh, what I, my idea was, I wanted to have a door, like over here somewhere. You walk in, and then you just see glass and the hangers over there. And then you got to walk all the way down here to get into the actual hangar. And this stuff will be, be made of glass. Uh, that's pretty much, I think, what I'm going to do. But uh, we'll put that on hold for now. Now, right here is going to be a three-wide lane. One, two, three. And that's going to go all the way to the... Um, I didn't turn my jetpack on. It's kind of weird. Look at my jetpack turned itself on when I went out of the gravity field. Hold on a sec. Hold on. By the way, we're going to have to get more gravity generators. Let's see that again. Yeah, look at that. It automatically turned my jetpack on. That's interesting. Um, anyway, uh, this is going to be like the uh, the middle part. And then on both sides, we're going to have places for vehicles. And right here, I started actually making uh, the place for the vehicles. Now, the vehicles are going to be... Here, let me break these out. Now, this is really hard for you to tell what's going on here because of the way this, this stuff looks. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be landing the vehicles on interior walls, like so, like that. And that's what the vehicles are going to, are going to actually, land. The, the, the ships are going to actually land on. Um, I just have to figure out how big I want to make them. I guess I could make them three wide. I'm also going to have to put landing gear on my ships. Well, the biggest ship I have is my grinding ship, or uh, my, uh, my mining ship. So let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's grab the mining ship and... Uh, well, actually, you know what? I can't put landing gear on this thing. That's the problem. Uh, this thing cannot have landing gear on the bottom. Because it will get knocked off because of the way the drills are situated. Um, let me think. Let me think. I'm probably going to have to redesign this thing anyway. Uh, Alright, so this is going to have to be a special case. I can't put landing gear on the side either. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, forget about that ship for now. We'll deal with that in a minute. Um, the Wasp will be the ship. Actually, I don't have a lot of ships. The Wasp is definitely the biggest ship. So let's um, let's put some landing gear on the Wasp. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some landing gear. And we're going to put these on here. Now, I'm not quite sure where I want to put them on. Grind this off. Yeah, because... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that dr with that drill ship. I mean, I should probably make a bigger drill ship, like a bigger badass drill ship. <clears throat> I wonder if I could just add a couple more drills. Nah, you know what? I think in the near future I'm gonna make a bigger, more badass drill ship because uh, you know this one's pretty good, but it's kind of messed up. I could always redesign it. Maybe I should just redesign this one. So, what I need is, I'm going to want landing gear on the bottom of this. Which means that the drills, I'm going to have to put extra drills on this, on the bottom. Um, yeah, I think I am going to actually keep this, this drill ship. And I'm just going to redesign where the drills are. I'll probably just take all the drills off. I'll probably take off every piece of uh, conveyors. I'll take off all the conveyors. I'm basically going to take off everything except for the back. And uh, I'll redesign that ship. And I'll be able to put landing gear on it. So that is going to, in turn, be the largest ship. So let's just put some landing gear on it now just for, you know, the sake of having it. It doesn't even matter where we put it, to be honest. All right, so let's just take this down there. And uh, 
let's just plant it. I'm not even going to make the, the landing gear. Uh, I just want, I want to have an idea of the biggest type of ship that I'm going to need to have in this thing. And this looks like it should probably be five wide. I should probably make the landing area five wide. And uh, you know, let's get out and see. See what we're looking at here. Because I want all the landing pads to be the same, like, uh, the same, you know, dimensions. So I'm thinking uh, five wide and, oh boy, we're going to have to be at least seven deep. All right, so let's see. Uh, and this is going to be a, I don't know, that might be a little big. That is pretty big. About three wide and five deep. Five wide and seven deep? Oh, man. Uh, I knew this thing was going to be big. So let's see what we got here. All right, so that's five wide. And then one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. I mean, that'll definitely be big enough for any of my ships. Yeah, that's going to be a big hanger like for real let's, let's uh let's get this down see where it goes you know i gotta move it back even more and down and that's pretty much i think that's the biggest of my small ships and you know what it probably doesn't need to go seven back i want it to be odd though i want it to be odd numbers here let me think about this no man, there's uh, <laughs> there's no way around it. It's gonna they're gonna have to be five by seven. Oh boy, that's gonna be a lot of work. Uh, how many ships am I gonna want to hold in this hangar? That's another thing. Um, six, no more than six ships. I'm like I'm probably never gonna have six small ships anyway. Oh my god, six ships. This thing's gonna be freaking huge. Oh my god. No, no, no. Three on each side. No, this, that, that'll be that'll be somewhat doable. Alright, so... Yeah, I mean, it's... it's You know, uh, I want the... I mean, I guess I could keep them uneven. Oh, by the way, I put down some... I put down some gates. Uh, some... Full cover walls. Man, that is really, really large. <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay, you know what the heck with it. Let's go. Let's go big. Go big or go home, right? So we're gonna make this. Uh, we're gonna make this five by seven. Yeah. Eh. Whatever. It's not that bad. Okay. So what do we got here? Uh, it's gonna go right there. It's gonna go right there. We got one, two, three. So we got three spots in between. So let's uh, let's put one here. Okay, so landing pad, landing pad, landing pad, landing pad. Yeah, that'll that'll work. That'll work. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, there. Oops. No, number five. There we go. There. All right, we need interior plates. Oh boy. We're gonna need a lot of materials for this. This hangar is gonna be freaking unbelievable. That's not enough interior plates. What do I have that's so much of? Let's let's uh throw some of the stone in here just because whatever. Um, what else do I have that's so heavy? Um, I got a lot of steel plates. Let's take 400 steel plates. And we'll take some interior plates. Okay. My goodness. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Go there. So this whole thing can get knocked out. Uh... It's hard to tell which ones are which. What is this? That's an interior wall. That's a light armor block. This is a light armor block. 
Uh, light armor block. The rest should be good. Five. There, there. There. It's not even the materials that's a big deal. It's just, it's going to be a lot of room. But whatever, it's a hangar. It's going to hold six ships. So, I guess it should be big. I'd rather have too much room than not enough. I knew this thing was going to be big anyway. So that's going to be one landing pad. Uh, so... Let me get rid of this. We can put one of these down here. Like this. Okay. That means we could take this one out. Um... Hey, let me think here. Let me think what I want to do here. I'll put that there. Alright, so there. We got... Okay, so that'll be a landing pad. Uh... We obviously want a spot open. I'm going to put a spot open on the side. I'm not going to put it directly in the middle. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay. And we will have one spot in between and then another whole set. Oh my goodness. This thing is going to be freaking huge. I always wonder what would happen if I broke this apart. Now that's part of a space station. Will that, drip, will that drift off? No. So if you break apart a part of a space station, even though it's not connected to the, the rest of the space station, it will not float off. I mean, I know a lot of you probably already knew that, but I wasn't I wasn't sure. I've never done it. Okay. Alright. And... Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. You know what I think it is? guys i think it's time for a time lapse so uh enjoy the music Uh, kind of a shorter montage than I meant it to be, but I need to figure this part out, and I didn't want to do it without letting you know what I was doing. So this one comes over one, two, three, and then four. On the fourth block, we come down towards the entrance. So one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we come down towards the entrance, and that's where this will be. Okay. By the way, this thing isn't going to be that big. I mean, it, it was bigger than I meant it to be, but, you know, it, it's going to be cool. I think I think it's going to be nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got some plans, too. So, let's knock out some more of this stuff. Okay. I hate to do this to you again, but, uh, you know, there's not much to talk about. There's just a lot of work to be done here, so... I'm gonna give you guys another time lapse, and, uh... I hope I remember I'll use it... I'll try and use some different music, so... Um, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what happened there. Um, after the last time lapse, I tried to. I thought I hit the record button, but I didn't. Uh, you didn't really miss a lot uh, after that time lapse. I just basically went up and crafted a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna make a gravity generator down here. So I'm actually in my ship down at the hangar area, and I'm just making a gravity generator. Honestly, I could have cut the video anyway. You didn't even miss anything. Uh, control panel welders on. Why isn't it welding? What's going on? What is going on? How could we possibly not have everything we need? Hmm, that's weird. Hold on, let's see what we're missing. The gravity components. I made those. I don't know, I don't know what happened. All right, well let's see what's, let's see what's going on here. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I made the, I did a bunch of color coding stuff here. I made follow the yellow brick road type thing. 
which comes into here. Um, I don't know if I showed this, but yeah, I mean, I color-coded everything in here. I put a bunch of lights. I probably should have mentioned this, uh, you know. But I put a bunch of lights in here. I color-coded the walls, th this grayish color. Left some silver on the top, gray in the middle, blue on the sides. I think it looks pretty slick. So, sorry about not mentioning that. Phew, kind of off. Uh, doing a lot of Let's Plays, man. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of streams. Just, you know, sometimes I lose track of what's going on. All right, so... Where's that gravity component? I, I made those. I made them. I know I did. There they are. Huh. Weird. Of course, I can't carry them all. Well, we need to be able to carry them all, so let's put some of these away. Actually, which is what we're going to do is we're going to put all these in here. Then we'll take these, and then we'll take whatever we can take. There we go. Piece of cake. Man. This hanger is going to be crazy. Sheesh. But it's a hanger. I mean, like I said before, it's me holding my ships. And just because they're small ships, you know, they're still ships. And it can hold up to six ships. So. Probably never make six ships, to be honest. All right. Oh, that didn't take long. Let's move these welders out of the way so I don't end up killing myself. Okay. By the way, my timer's all messed up too. I have no idea how, how like long this video is going to be. But, alright. So you're good there. Do we have gravity? Is this thing working? The gravity fields should be on the same level so they shouldn't be a problem with each other. Um, oh man, the thing's over here. There you go. Yep, you're good. So I should have gravity everywhere. Very nice. All right. Let's do some welding. Um, I'm going to do some of this welding because I want you guys to see what it's going to look like. And I, I, I want to see too. I'm kind of curious. So. All right. So we're going to move back here. I would do another uh, time lapse, but I mean, I've already done two. So, I think of stuff to talk about. So, what do you guys think about this? Uh, you, what do you think about this hanger? Do you like it? Do you like the design? Can you tell what I'm doing? Because the lag is just horrendous when you know you have this much unbuilt, un like built material. So, uh, let's see, what we got here. We can get out and help. Those welders really are blinding, aren't they? I would say the welding ship is not all that fast. I mean, it's convenient because it carries things for you, but it's really not that fast. I hate it when I get out and I'm right by the welders. Alright. Well, there's not much to be done, guys. I got nothing else to say. Uh, we're going to have to do a third time lapse. So, I uh, hope this isn't too much time lapse for you, but enjoy. Okay, that's en that's enough. <laughs> that's enough music and fast forwarding. Uh, so you can see right here my idea for the area now. I think it's starting to come along. Um, it's kind of a big landing pad, but it's it's good. I mean, it's kind of big for this one. The drill ship is the one I need. Uh, you know that you know what I was thinking. I can't put. Uh, I can't make the drills super big and then put 
landing gear on the bottom because then the drills will be in the way when it lands. There's no way to do it. There's no way to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do with my drilling ship. Uh, all I know is these landing pads are probably a little bit bigger than they need to be. But uh, I definitely could have made these landing pads smaller because the, the drill ship is never going to land here and uh, because I can't do it. I don't know what I'm going to do with the drill ship. Maybe maybe I'll keep my outside docking bays and I'll leave those where the uh, where the space bridge is up there. Maybe I'll leave a, a couple docking bays and that way I can have drill ships dock out there because all right, if I make drills coming down on the bottom to cover the landing gear, the landing gear will be covered when I drill through asteroids. But when I go to land the ship, the drills will be in the way. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Drill ships cannot be landed like that. I mean, unless... Oh, I'm, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I'm sure plenty of people have come up with ingenious ideas, but... I don't know. It's just, it doesn't seem like it's going to really work. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get out. I'm going to place some stuff down. Okay. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay. Let's just finish up the the extra parts. I'm always running into stuff. If I have to, if I had to design this ship again, I wouldn't put two large thrusters on the back. It just gives me too much momentum, and I always running in. I'm always running into stuff. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Today. We don't have all day. Alright. Man, I'm having a real hard time with, with uh, commentary today. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to cut too much of this stuff, though, because then I'm not going to have any videos to make. It's getting to the point now where... Most of the game is building, and there's not much to say. I can explain my build, but... I don't know. It's tough. It's not easy to do, co to do commentary for this game. For a full Let's Play. It's not easy. Okay. Control panel. Welders. Off. Alright, let's put some landing gear on this on this thing. All right, landing gear. Where can I put the landing gear? Okay. So, landing gear. Number eight. All right, let's put one right there. No, 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 no. Back a little bit more. Eight. Yes. Yes. And then just one in the middle. I kind of feel like there'd be a lot of weight up here. You'd probably need two landing gears in the front. But I don't know. One on each corner. That looks kind of lame. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on. There we go. Uh, one in the middle. I guess that's good. I don't want to put four... I don't want to put one in each corner. That just looks stupid. Okay, so that'll work. So let's go ahead and land this sucker. So basically what'll happen is we'll be out doing our, you know, our business and our hangar will be right there. Okay? I'm assuming I'm going to have a hangar door as well. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get out of the ship to open up and close the hangar door. Not much I can do about that. So we're going to come flying in the hangar. All right, there's... Got to pick a place to land... Um, so we're just gonna come on over here. I'll leave myself plenty of room. Alright. Line ourselves up. And land. Back up. Nose up. There we go. Touchdown, engines off, and get out. 
Actually, you know what? The five by seven. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's actually a really good size. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I did go with that. The five by seven is really nice. Uh, the only thing is down here in this area, I am going to have to have somewhere where I can house the modules. Uh, I'm going to leave one module on the ship at all times, but I'll change modules where I can. I'm thinking this hangar is going to be really, really high. It's going to be really high. I want plenty of flight path room. And I think maybe over here I'll make like a little ledge. And that'll be where the modules can go. Possibly. I'm not really sure where I'll put the modules yet. But I think that's going to be good. And I can color code stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Uh... I'm just not sure about these open uh, half walls. I'm thinking about doing something different with the half walls, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's a good start. That's a good start. We got the gravity generator down here. Get some stuff worked out. And uh, sorry if this is a little bit lacking on the commentary. This video is kind of all over the place, but uh, this is something really difficult for me. And you know, I'm trying to do the commentary as best I can. And I hope you were, you know, at least a little bit entertained. So anyway, that's going to be it for episode 31. I'll see you next time for episode 32. Till then, take it easy.